troll ka ba? Maaring hindi mo pa alam pero yung kausap mo na pala ay isang troll. Yan ay kung pababasehan natin ay isang pag-aaral tapos sa industriya at makinarya ng troll sa Pilipinas. Welcome to Factor Fake. This point, we're talking to a troll. Tatanungin natin kung ano ba yung ginagawa nila and maybe how much you're getting paid for it. Shirley, ilan taon ka na pala muna? 26. Paano ka napasok dun sa trabaho and how would you describe that job? Campaign season 26. Mm. So, naghanap ko ng part-time job. Yung mm. job posting po, meron sa online, hiring for admin staff. Ang job posting is hiring for admin staff? Apo. Pero ang Apo. trabaho was? Work po kami na admin work talaga. Mm -hmm. Pero two weeks po, bago yung election day, mm. may ano po, last minute na yun po, nag-troll kami. Paano to? Sino nag-utos? Paano? Sino yung nag-direct? Politician will be na kapos. Hukus mo namin na tulungan yung kaalyado na mapromote po dun sa local election. Each of us required to make a troll account. Usually dalawa po. Meron kang good cup, meron kang bad cup. Good cup po, positive motion lang. Wala mm. kang ibabash. Okay. Pero pag bad cup, more of aggressive. Pwede kayo mag-bash ng ano. So, ang objective nyo, nagpapasimula, paano ba yun? Nagpapasimula kayo ng content para yes, yung po. ibang tao. Kinokomentan nyo rin po para makita na may engagement from, kunwari, parang tulungan po kayo, parang may certain people na kunwari hindi magkakilala. Mm -hmm. Pero, nagkocomment po para, ay, parang may positive feedback yeah, po ba ka naman. Yeah. Pag may sumunod na po na totoong tao, ano po yun, helpful po yun. Tapos pag may negative naman po, yung negative persona mo lang din po yung magkocomment doon. Doon sa team nyo, ilan kayo? Kami na may iba't ibang accounts. Opo. Um, do you mind my asking kung mag magkano ang TF nun? Kami po admin staff, yung pinakamababa, mga 16K net na po. Per month? Opo, per month. What do you think is the impact? Yung ganyang klase na work? Honestly po, parang one week lang namin siya ginawa. Hmm. Pero parang somehow po, nakatulong siya dun sa kandidato na hindi ganun talakad pala yung, yung difference ng vote. Hmm. So realize ko, parang how you handle communication. Aside sa meron pong genuine people behind it. Correct. Meron din pong pwedeng perpetuated by yung merong finance or may, mm -hmm. may power po na mag ano po. Mm -hmm. May machinery for it. While you're doing it, ano yung naiisip mo? Kasi po nung time na yun, yun na lang yung deliverable food. Uh, parang, trabaho lang. Choice. Kailangan mo lang mag-deliver. You think you would do it again? Ay, no po. <laughs> Bakit? <laughs> Para tapos sa yung feeling pag pinapoint out na troll ka sa end, kasi parang aminan po namin na enjoy namin siya pag may engagement. Hmm. Tapos pag na-argue, pag natatalo po yung person. Pero, pag dumating sila sa part na ipopoint out nila na ah, kasi troll ka, gano'n, pwede ka pwede magpakita ng mukha ko pa. Hmm. Why is that sad? Parang ma-realize mo na yung reality. Kasi siya would work by her. Tapos parang yung reality na Well, there you have it, straight from a troll herself. Organisado ito at may mga malalaking tao na nasa likod ng mga nakakasalamuhan nating trolls sa internet. Ganitong-ganito rin ang lumabas sa pag-aaral na Architects of Network Disinformation ngayong 2018 na Jonathan Ong at Jason Vincent Cabanes. Sa pag-aaral, idinitalye yung natuklasan nilang Architecture of Network Disinformation. Sa pinakababa, may mga tinatawag na grassroots intermediaries o yung mga fan page moderators na mga politiko at iba pa mga volunteer political organizers. Volunteer meaning wala silang bayad. Sa itaas nila ang community level fake account operators o yung mga advertising and PR strategists na hinayar ng mga politiko para simulan ang illusions of engagement. Sumunod ang mga digital influencers o yung mga direktang nagpapatakbo ng mga social media pages na pinagmumulan ng mga mensahe at propaganda. More often than not, nagpa-viral ang mga ito dahil din sa laki ng kanilang following. 
Pinakahuli yung mga chief architects of network disinformation o yung mga elite advertising and PR strategies na direktang kinukuha ng mga politikong nais magpakalat ng propaganda. May lumabas na 7 key findings sa kanilang study. Now we're going to talk to Jonathan Ong who is one of the authors of that study para malaman natin kung paano ba talaga yung uh, ginagawa dyan sa industriya ng mga trolls na yan. Yeah, there you go. Hi sir! Hello! Hi, how are you? Where do they get the trolls? I mean, do you apply to, to be a troll? That's a very good question. I think go through your Twitter uh, pages, um, look at the accounts that you follow um, that tend to be satirical, humorous, snarky, but don't disclose their real personality. These accounts are influencer accounts mm. and they are for sale. For sale? Um, for corporate brands or for politicians. Okay, so parang ano siya? I'm going to put up a Twitter account and then I try to, over the course of time, gather followers, right? And then when I have enough, I can tell if you're a politician, do you want to buy this account? Ganun ba yun? Medyo ganun yun. It would begin likely with a corporate account first and show that you have a track record of promoting a soft drink or a shampoo. Uh... And then and then you sell your skills up to a politician by showing your track record first in the corporate world. So, dapat meron kang proof na effective ka. Yeah. How lucrative is this business? Especially for the chief architects, especially for the added PR strategist, um, it pays very handsomely. Political campaigns um, are very well paying. And that's why there's also very little um, effort among added PR strategists to, um, to, to talk about this openly because it is very financially rewarding. Um, however, one would say that kung nan nandun ka sa um, ikaw yung community level fake account operator, mm. ikaw yung troll, um, on a per day yung bayad sa'yo, um, paminsan um, you can be paid about 1,000 pesos per day kung nasa Manila ka, kung nasa probinsya, Narinig namin is usually 500 a day. And all you have to do is what? You have to achieve a certain number of comments or posts in a day. So it's a, a and then execute a very strict script na binigay sa yon ng, um, ng strategies. Before they say the battleground is on TV or print, but we're heading into another elections 2019. How do you think will this infrastructure um, work? Now, um, uh, it is uh, very clear how effective online campaigns are. Uh, added PR strategists were able to leverage um, uh, the online environment as a space in which it would galvanize supporters and have real supporters to express their opinion. Mm. And hindi ito proseso ng pagbe-brainwash ng, po ng, ng population. Ha? Ito ay um, just pag-express ng support ng actual supporters. And that's why one of our um, policy recommendations is we should be much more transparent um, when it comes to digital political spendings. I think um, we need new legislation that would compel politicians um, to disclose the kinds of um, online um, advertisements and hashtags that they buy and that they purchase just as we ask them to disclose what TV ads that they buy on TV and radio. Mm -hmm. How right. come we don't do the same thing 
and online when it could e- uh, could even be more, much more perceptive and much more insidious. What is your advice to a person who are who is on social media and then reading comments? Any netizen should be very critical of what they see online. Mm. Um, deception is all. It has become very normalized in our culture, and we need to be much um, more critical as to who we're following mm. and evaluating what they're saying. Uh-oh. Um, especially when um, you see a particular hashtag um, being promoted by one of these accounts na anonymous, hindi sila um, walang totoong pangalan na, si- na sinabi, um, but, but they might be funny, they might be inspirational um, in terms of its daily content, but usually may pinapasok silang paid content. And I think we as netizens should be much more careful in following these kinds of accounts I would even advise us to unfollow these uh, because they would tend to be very deceptive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. From the interview, we established that some trolls are for sale, some opinions are for sale. So next time you encounter something on Facebook, Twitter, or kung man yung social media site, be careful, no? Bakamamaya, medyo nagagamit kayo o napapagkakitaan kayo. Alright, guys. Kung may opinion ka, that's your right. Sa demokrasya, everybody has the right to express himself or herself. Pero sana naman, yung opinion ay original thought. At hindi yung manufactured o kaya isang key message na pinapakaskade lang at pinapalaganap lang. You know, a lie is a lie is a lie. Kahit marami pang naniniwala dyan, it's a lie. That's a fact. Joseph Morong po, for fact or fake, that's a fact. For more Factor Fake episodes, subscribe to youtube.com slash GMA Network.